What do you think of this virtual racing? Um, <sighs> listen, I, 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 we did it. Um, we did it. London Marathon um, recently did it as well. Um, our third sector. It depends where you want to talk. Where where do you want to talk about it from? You know. Okay. Um, you, if you want to look at it like sort of Peloton and, and how and how they were able to use technology to to forward the industry, um, yeah. I don't think we did that. I think I think it allowed a lot of people, um, including myself, to um, keep staff working. Um, to and and but you know. Put it this way: I had two. I had two emails from from people about it. One email was, um, "You money money grabbing bastards! Um, um, how, how you know? I can't believe you're trying to charge you know fifteen bucks or whatever for for a medal and a tea or something like that." Okay, you know, I hope you burn in hell. And then um, and then I had another email um, from someone in Paris actually who said can I just say thank you so much for doing the virtual thing? I've been looking for, I've been looking for something to get me out the door. And I relate to that because I need challenges. I need bets yeah. to, to, for me to go and do something. Um, so yeah, listen, it's, I think like most things it's, it's there. I think it's a good option now in terms of everyone who's gone in and trained it. The London marathon just did one recently and I know New York did, um, and, and, you know, it was really successful for a lot of charities, you know, they didn't raise what they were meant to, but they kept a lot of charities going. They kept, kept a lot, lot of people training, engaged in the sport. So, um, I don't, I don't, don't see it hurting the industry. Sure. Um, you know, I think like everyone, it's a, it's a nice sort of temporary, um, thing that we, we can enjoy and then, um, but it won't take over the real thing.